Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy this vulnerability updates to Windows XP in 2003. This is an update uh, or it's a hotfix for critical remote code execution vulnerability. If you have if you have 2003 or, 2000, or XP machine in your environment, the only way to deploy this patch is you have to download it first and then create a SSM package and then deploy it. Because the um, since the patch is does not exist in the WSUS anymore, for example, if I go into WSUS and search for this KB, um, let's see, software library. Oops, let's see. Software updates and then search for KB four four nine nine one seven five. So as you can see here, the patch is only available for two thousand eight and uh, Windows seven. So to download X, um, to download the XP versions and the 2003 versions, you have to go into the um, this link here and click on links to download Windows 2003 and XP. There's a XP SP3 x86 download. I'm going to click download here. English versions. And then I'm going to download the XP 2000, uh, XP X64 English version download. And then the 2003 x64 English version download and 2003 x32 um, bit English versions show folder. So here's all the um, the patches that is downloaded. Looks like the X64 downloaded twice. So I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to copy this files. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to call this XP and 2000, 2003 KB 4499175. I'm going to paste it here. Since these two files are the same, I'm going to delete one. So what you need to do, I'm just going to rename this, um, take out a special characters or extra numbers I don't need. All right, so I'm going to create a bad file. Just call it install.bat. I'm 
oops, let me open it up. So I'm going to the command line I'm going to use is the um, I have this package here. I could just copy the command line. Hot fix. Just going to copy this command line. Close that out. I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to copy the the file name. If you want to know what the command line is, you can just copy that. I'll just copy that and then type in run slash and then the name of the exe. slash question mark click OK it should give you a command line so the command line is no restart or and quiet so basically it's the same as this one all right so let me Finish this command line. So I'm going to put an exe here. Just like that. I'm going to copy three times for three files. And the second file is. And the third file, I'm going to paste that here. Click on save. So now I can create an SCCM package. Go in software library and then go to packages and create a new package. So the KB is for XP and Windows 2003. Click Next, Standard Program, Scholars Install. Oops, let me copy these files. Oh, this KB number again. Click Next, Standard Install. That's it. Next, next, and next. So that's it. That's how you the um, you create a um, Windows 2003, Windows Server 2003, and XP package for the patches that are not in WSUS or are not in SCCM. So the package has been created. Now all you have to do is just put it on the DP and ready to deploy. Thank you for watching and if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe. My channel will cover Configuration Manager, SCCM, Office 365 or, or Azure Active Directory and Windows Intune. Thank you for watching and have a good day.